Steve, why is it down so much? I don't know. Why did it go up 760% over the last 12 months? Did anything fundamentally change with the Tesla story over the last week? Not at all. And, and look, what you have here is one of the most dramatic stories in, in the stock market, up 600% over the last uh, eight months, now a 25% sell-off. And here are the two big questions. One is, are some of the major shareholders like Bailey Gifford, Fidelity, Vanguard going to stampede to the door? Or is Elon Musk going to step up to backstop his shares? This is the newly minted third wealthiest person in the world right ahead of Mark Zuckerberg. It's a fascinating drama, better than most movie scripts. <laughs> I think he's actually dropped to number four after, after the bad week that Tesla's had in the market. But we get your point, Steve. You, you, you were on the board of directors of this company. I, I think you've ha you have pretty unique insight into Elon Musk, the strategy, the vision, which has really captured the imagination of investors. And, and is one of the reasons why the stock has flown past all the other automaker valuations. It's obviously not being valued as a car company. What can you tell us about well, Musk and, and, and that vision and whether these outsized gains are worth it? Well, look, first, I've been one of the biggest champions of Tesla and Tesla stock. Having said that, do I think the company warrants this share price? Probably not. It could go down further. But don't forget, Elon Musk has done three things. The first thing no one else has done. First, he's built an enormous global auto company faster than anybody in history. Second, he's created one of the most powerful brands in the world uh, since Apple. And third, he's continued to innovate faster than anybody else. And that is why I think there's still a lot of huge believers for the company. They're bringing two new products to the market, the new semi truck and the cyber truck the uh, extraordinary Tesla Roadster right behind it. He's developing new business models. Battery day is right around the corner. I think the long-term bulls on the company are thinking if he can ratchet the cost of battery down one more time, make the electric car truly cheaper than internal combustion engines for the first time in history, he may just blow things away. So that's the bet. What's happening in life, gainers, and all my stock option traders. Well, Tesla took a beating after Monday, went up to a record high on Monday, then Tuesday, the bubble popped a little bit. And for those of you who are just in Tesla for a cash grab, might I suggest that you go ahead and pull your profits now because Tesla announced that they are going to be doing, adding more stock to their numbers, which is gonna depress the prices a little bit, supply and demand chain. But if you're a long-term Tesla holder like I am, fear not, just keep holding. But if you're in it just for the money, you probably want to go ahead and get out. Now, what you're seeing on my screen, and by the way, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, share these videos for those of you trying to make a little extra cash by doing nothing but being passive. What you're seeing on the screen is one of my ancillary accounts where I just keep rainy day funds in. And to show the power of how you can make money in options, Look at that right there with 19 grand and the interest on that in just a standard savings and checking account. And this is a pretty high number. This is a good one. This is Capital One, ladies and gentlemen. The interest on that was $7.32, which is exactly why you want to be doing options so that you can make some money on what you guys are making money on. And now what you're seeing is everything I did last week. And if you followed this last week, you made yourself some money. I suggested Workhorse last week, which I did two contracts on. And Workhorse was pretty much one of the only stocks in the tech sector that didn't drop. And if it ain't broke, <laughs> don't fix it. I'm riding Workhorse again, and I'll show you what the premiums are paying. And with Best Buy that I got stuck with two weeks ago, I just took those 100 shares and I put them up, sold a call and made $107. And I still have the shares because I got the, uh, I got to keep the shares because on Friday it didn't reach 113, which is what I was selling for. But ladies and gentlemen, this week, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do workhorse, but I still recommend you guys do workhorse. If you don't have a lot of cash to be putting into the overall other stocks 
I'm going to sell my Best Buy shares because I'm going to take the proceeds of that. I'm going to buy some Amazon and I'm going to buy some more Tesla and I am going to do I'm sell a call on 100 shares of Tesla because the premiums are pretty high right now and y'all know I'm in this game number one to collect premium income and number two for long-term purposes. So let's go ahead and jump and take a look at what they're paying for those options right now this week. So we're looking at my Robinhood account. We're specifically looking at Tesla. And for those of you that are still kind of new to how to make money on the wheel strategy and options, basically, if you don't have a hundred shares of stock, you want to get, um, do sell a put and you sell a put by buying, by having the cash to buy the strike price of whatever the stock is and the strike price is over there to the left and the share price is in the middle. But what you're looking at me is a call. And that's when you have 100 shares of said stock. Now, if you're looking at the premium over there to the far right price, you always multiply that by 100 and you also multiply, multiply the strike price by 100. And that's what you're going to be paying if you did sell, sold a put. So the premium they're paying, if you've got 100 shares of Tesla to sell a call, starting at four grand, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you know, I like to be safe. And so I'm going to sell, I'm willing to part ways with my Tesla stock and be making a significant amount of money on top of getting the premium. If I go somewhere in the safe zone around chances of profit around 80% or so. And so I'm thinking of going maybe 485 ish, you know, somewhere around that number to make $700 this week. And if I don't do that, I most likely will I most likely will play Tesla somewhere around the 439 ish area. And that'll still have me walking away with 15 grand in profit. And look at the premiums they're paying. $1,700 for one week, really four days because this is a holiday. Um, and you'll be making the strike price for that to be $439. And share prices right now is $392. But we don't know what it's going to be in the morning. And I'm pretty sure that people are going to jump back on Tesla. Um, the institutional folks and the retail investors because they want to get it while it's cheap. But like I said in the start of the video, Tesla is going to be adding more shares, which is going to push the price down. So while the volatility is good, I'm going to try to make as much premium off of Tesla if, as I can. And if someone comes along and buys my call for 100 shares north of 420, I'm still in the good. It's still about 15 grand I'm going to make on that. So I'm going to go ahead and ride this bad boy till the wheels fall off. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now let's take a look at Workhorse for my folks that's going to be doing a little bit of a smaller tier income generator for their options. And there's that Workhorse. And I hope y'all are putting this Workhorse to work. And as you can see where everything else last week dropped, Workhorse last week gained 14% which is why I'm saying jump right back on it and use it for your call option this week. So you're going to take this workhorse and you're going to want to sell a put on workhorse. And let's just quickly take a look at what the premiums are on workhorse currently so that you guys can try to make a little bit of money. So strike prices that I would say are safe, you know, guys, you know, I like to stay between 68 to 72 percent of chances of profit. And on workhorse, um, you see right there at $17 on the strike price, you're going to get $40, I mean, 40 bucks in premium for $1,700. And if you want to be a little bit more risky, you can go up to $1,800 because you're still multiplying the strike price, which is $18 by 100. And then you multiply that 0.70 price by 100. And both of those, the 70 would give you 70 bucks and the 18 would give you 1800. And I just showed you guys in the beginning of this video in my Capital One account that had 19 grand, they're only paying you $7 of interest on that. So this is a way for you guys to make consistent income um, because Workhorse did so well last week and the news on Workhorse is still really, really good because they've got a um, contract in place with the United States Postal Office and some other people that use trucks 
that are trying to go clean energy. This is one that I would say, <laughs> if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. Don't bring a hammer to something that needs to be drilled. Just leave it alone. Ride this bad boy. Continue to watch the markets to see what the news is for Workhorse. And these are my week four picks for options that I'm doing. I'm going to be doing a call on Tesla and possibly Workhorse. I might chill out on Workhorse, but I'm definitely doing Tesla call. You guys let me know what you're going to be doing this week and how it's worked out for you so far. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. Please comment, subscribe, and share. These are probably the most important videos I do because they're helping people make life gains in their finances. Join me on Instagram. Send me, question, send me questions on IG. Um, I typically don't put a lot of content on IG, but if you want to send me messages, it's easier and quicker to get me there. And also, if you haven't gotten the Robinhood app, what are you waiting on? Download Robinhood right now. You get a free stock. I get one. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.